Yeah, so my country people, I beg if you know say so you never subscribe to our YouTube channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on that notification button. Guinea Bissau zero and the Super Eagles of Nigeria one. And we deal with our correct also we be saying now Olorogu. He talks say won't tell us how he see the Super Eagles performance for this match. Also, now how you see the Super Eagles performance for this three points? We don't say they get three points, but we they finish second. Tied with points with Equatorial Guinea, but on goal difference, Equatorial Guinea top the group. How you see the Super Eagles' performance for this match, Jose? Uh, you see, mm. Pasero, I saw some concern there. Mm. Nah, Kokosh. Sorry to use the word, though. Mm. All these third rate coaches, mm. when our football administrators, mm. they go bring come, when they all use African. National teams to boost their CV. Now, one of them be this. Presently, if you take a very critical look at the Super Eagles since Passero come with a struggle, tactically, that the coach now get tactical, the tactical approach to the game. He go impute the technique of the players into a match tactics to weave a very beautiful match plan for the team. But thus far, since Passero come, Mm. We'll never see him. If you watch the second goal when you go to Ragini score just now, thank God said they show the match side by side. Yes. And from where we watch and so we the privilege to watch the two matches the at the same time. Equatorial mm. so, uh, Guinea score first goal. Kodova just the pass the ball. The first foray into the Kotora Guinea uh, um, area. Equatorial mm. Guinea win the ball. Just three passes from the man when win that ball for deep in the Kotoragini half to the player who received the ball, mm. the player running to the person who scored the goal. It took just three sensible passes. This one will tell you, say this now, waiting the door already rehearsed for training section. Training, uh, training ground work be they can't deliver for match day. Mm. But our own, you they see complacency at play. You just see tactical deficiency at play. Mm. Even the technique of the player herself, you know they see them at play in our national team. I go take you to our World Cup qualifiers. Two matches thus far against minors, African minors. Zimbabwe. Against African minors, the draws one one here. Mm. We go draw them one one away. Mm. Against minors, when you not feel reckon with, that tells you that there is a great deal of. Um, technical and tactical deficiency in this man called Joseph Passero. Mm. He got one newscaster, one uh, sports presenter for this, uh, this uh, uh, our worry here. Mm. I'm not going to mention the name. The guy don't they criticize Passero since they come. I say, no, this guy, you are being too harsh. Mm. But yeah. thus far, three matches thus far, I never see the imprint of this coach on this team. I go take you back to 1989. Mm. August 39, World Cup qualifier. Angola, Nigeria, National Stadium, Lagos. We swear to beat Angola. Steven Keshi, then scored that goal. True and Eti Messi free kick in swinger. Mm. That same match, Okwaraji died. West Wolf not being coached for that match. When Okwaraji died, Tension can hold all the players. By September, West Ham was appointed a national team coach mm. to coach us. His first match, World Cup qualifying, last World Cup qualifying match was now against uh, Cameroon for Yaoundé. Mm. The big boys in Agri come. They were scared. So he raised a team from the home base, and the few when Agri come take play that match for Yaoundé. Mm. Cameroon sweats as a sweat to beat us 1-0. How many months after? December, January, February. March, Nations Cup there ahead of us. Mm. Then Nations Cup are just eight team tournaments. This man was able to assemble a 90% home based team. The only two foreign base were uh, Yakini and uh, Andrew Way. And one other person, also, I don't forget that person's name. Let me the foreign base players when Greek come. Mm. First match against Algeria, the whitewash was 5 1. West Wolf, because of his tactical acumen, took us to the finals of that same Nations Cup. Algeria swears to beat us 1-0. 
Did they see the handwriting of a good coach on the team? On the team. Mm. I go refer you to another one again, Hector Cooper. Egypt qualified for World Cup for the for the last time in 1990. Mm. Italian 90. Hector Cooper came, galvanized the team. He played the Nations Cup finals. He lost. Hector Cooper galvanized the team again. Took Egypt to World Cup. But of course, we know that Egyptian players they not be they not there as good as our own. Mm. So this Bengu. Joseph Passer, I don't understand. Abaju Pinik, the the inefficiency and the you know, the, the lack of proper understanding mm. of what coaching entails. Abaju lacks it. Quote me anywhere. Mm. He lacks it. Now, so when he did as our uh, data sales force commission chairman, mm. now so he gave us Baru coach for Warrior Wolf. Mm. He first come Tottenham 2012 when Warrior Wolf qualified for Premiership. He first Tottenham. Uh, one coach from England, the coach not fit come. So your assistant then come now you like Bogu. Like Bogu came. Well, we will first season a uh, third place. Hooray. Continental. First round, second round. Knocked us out. Second season. Okay, be patient with like Bogu now. Now you bring up. Yeah, like Bogu, they go rock for ninth club. Like Bogu, the players now this. They that, 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 that. It's like Bogu. Who you can't bring up? After Agbo Gogo, you can't bring in a, a Morris Common. When boo, 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 boo. So the first to go forward, Morris Common revised us back. Mm. Just the way more, uh, sorry, the revised us now, back now. We will never understand now. Mm. And if we not shine, I look at where now. Before we go see Agbo. Mm. Agbo, because then after that, you can't bring to the Bay Day. Where we on the Bay Day go? When we don't, so we don't want to buy the again. He can't go NFF that time as chairman. They already win chairmanship. He can't hand over the team to the Visno Wumi to become a general manager of Warriors. Oh, Wumi, in all this wisdom, come bring in some of to come and assist Paul Agbogu. When Agbogu not going to perform, technically, oh, Wumi can't sideline Agbogu, can't allow, uh, what's his name now, uh, Podu to take over, some Podu to take over the team. For the first time in the annals of Warrior Football, football, uh, Warrior football Club, we became second on the league and MPFL. played Continental. Mm. MPF, uh, MPFL then, mm. and we played Continental. You see? Now, so the career Ganero gave us. We never recover from Ganero's shock. And it's like Ganero better eh? pass this one. This one, one. then you can't bring a Guavoy. This, this same boys. Mm. The only exception, I mean, Ademola Lukman. Mm. Uh, what's his name? Uh, this other boy again, uh, Masi. Mm. Yes. Eh? And uh, who's there again? One uh, Bali, the goalkeeper now. No, one uh, Bali. Mm. Then uh, Siri, okay, Terry Murphy. Terry eh? Then this uh, Alassane Yusuf was in there. Uh, what's the other name again? Okay, some other few. Osai Samuel. Osai Samuel and the Leke Ojo. Yes. And then uh, who, let, let's mention a few. Mm. Eh? But look at the team the government took to last Nations Cup. Tactically, they were balanced. Technically, they were there. Eh? Uh, you could see training section rehearsals on mm. March day. We brought to play ma on March days. But this one, complacency first class. I wonder what manner of match tactics they, they, they put into the boys in training training, training, training section. Mm. You know, they see the technique of the boys in his match tactics, mm. nor in his match play. We don't want to go from here. Equatorial Guinea. Comfortably beat Guinea Bissau. 3 to 0. Tactically humble them. Even I because beat them. And they come now in a hurry. Mm. Then we come play Equatorial Guinea. 1 1. We console ourselves in our first round. We come play a defensive, we pack the boss, a defensive uh, game against Cote d'Ivoire. Mm -hmm. We sweat to get that one goal against them. Now the Cote d'Ivoire and Equatorial Guinea mess up now. So. Mm. Then we they play Guinea Bissau. If not for that own goal, tell me what for become of the match. And they even almost score us. Mm. Because they had more possession. Tactically, they were better than us. So we had this man Passero they took us go. I never know. Mm. I never know, but I don't I don't hold myself together. The biggest consolation when I come when I, when I, when I, when I, when I get I will say I humble myself mm. to say, okay, let us take it one match at the time. time. Mm. We cannot go give myself unnecessary BP mm. because of Passero. After all, the salary, I know the following the chef for inside. 
You don't even know whether a guy like me is a high chief like me. There's this. Let alone say, I'll be Super Eagles fan. So we better look at Perserio critically well. Even if God go out for us and win the Nations Cup for us, he should be asked to leave. After the OT. After the Nations Cup, because this is not be the caliber of coach one we, we want. Amuneke is far better than this coach. If you need the judge, with what they do with him presently, and what they do with him last season, be better pass this coach. Also, you go have to go better pass this coach. You go agree with us, this coach has not the same league, nor the less even Keshi. So, you see that we look inwards. If we're not looking inwards to we'll take our home, our local, our mm. ex internationals to coach this team, then let us go for a man, a coach called Hector Cooper. Mm. Hector Cooper will play Champions League back to back with Valencia. Same Hector Cooper, coaching Tamila. I don't know why the guy never get job over this over the period. Mm. But that be the coach when I wholeheartedly recommend That's for Super Eagles. Because of what he did with, with Egypt. Mm. Oha, you know, Pastor. So I say, how you they see um, the team? Because you don't talk, say you don't like what you see at all from the team. Mm. But if you want point one player, so okay, now this player and I try impress you. You won't give your man of the match to who you go give out to for today match. Yes. E. Uh -huh. Same question. What you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving any one of them. You don't give any of them. No. So, but I say, how? What do you expect the team to do differently? Because bad as a bad. Many, many Nigerian supporters not they impressed with Bissero. But we say we don't do the Afcon, we don't do the Afcon. Maybe we talk how we go the team, we go take move forward. What do you expect the team to improve on for that round of 16 game? Because right now, we never know who they go play. Uh, for mm. round of 16, which is second round, mm. I go rather, eh? Because as they talk, the, when I when they watch the match, just mm. I tell my friend one day by my left hand side, when we take the first water break, I say, if Bissero and a coach were no work, you go swap the wingers. Shukweza to the left, Simon to the right. Mm. Because present day, this idea of playing left wingers, mm. or left players on the right, as far as I'm concerned, the key football. It's the key football 100%. Mm. If now so now with the swap left player come right, now Rangik's make name. Now Munike the make name. Now the likes of them, uh, Georgi Hagi and them, uh, all those left foot has made names internationally then globally. Mm. No, they will not make names. So I expect and say from second round, make it learn to play Shukweze from the left. Strictly. Then, make it not play because uh, if you see this, during the about 70 to 80 uh, minutes of this match, mm. he played the same as a lone striker. But when he brought in Ademola, and he called all those consecutive incursions mm. into, uh, so consecutive incursions into the Guinea Bissau, uh, huh? Bissau half. Mm. So make it play a disciplined 4-3-3. Um, uh, mm. The same man, Ademola Lukman supporting him, then Shukweze to the right. If he substitute, say Shukweze don't tire, then make it bring Simon from the right. So that we go get that effectiveness of a right-footed player playing from the right, mm. and then that effectiveness of a left-footed player Playing from the left, mm. they make it not make the mistake. Play will be. If, 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 if you ask me one question, you say, "Who are going to give man of the match?" <laughs> I say nobody, but I remember now. I'll give you Alexi Wobi. <laughs> <laughs> make it not make that mistake. Play will be mm. at all because the second round when they go into so the team one go meet the coach and the technical team go study our team one hundred percent to see our weak points. And one of the weak points or one of the weak links in our team, Nairobi, Jerry Ribo did well, but it's higher. Mm. Okay. And then two, one other thing I will take from this match, as well, one other thing I will take from this match, that we say, the changes today were quite impressive, like for like. <laughs> so, he, go, he, should, he should go back home, go back to his hotel room, sit down very well, and learn, review, re watch, watch the three matches again. Mm. Then learn to read match. Because he's a very poor reader of the game. Very poor reader. Very, very poor reader. For the full 90 minutes, we'll not see anything he did differently. So, that's not what I expect him to do. If you go play a midfield combination of um, Alassane Yusuf, I believe he's fit for the next match. Mm. And Franco Yenka, then he should play, uh, what's he called it now? And he will, uh, sorry, and, uh, and uh, the other one now, what's his name now? Eribo. Mm. 
this combination, I believe, would work. Then, if possible, as a plan against uh, Cote d'Ivoire, no, against uh, Equatorial, um, um, Guinea, Equatorial Guinea, Al Hassan should be the more like the box to box midfielder. Then, uh, what's his name? Uh, if I even have my way, no, Yeka should stay deep in the mid defensive midfield. If I even have my way, I would say he should bench, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, Frank, uh, no, Aribo. Draw Aribo. Then he should play versus Simon from that midfield. Simon is a good midfielder. But he never know. Because under Gannett, under Gannett Raw, he plays Simon solely as a left sided midfielder. I, I would rather prefer he plays Simon because in the next in the next second round now, we need not be counting on on on, on luck. Mm. We should come out and play to win outrightly mm. because we are playing the group winner, and I know, we never can tell which of the group winners we're playing. Mm. So we should be ta tactically and technically balanced with a great presence of mind. Mm. Then he should be the joker. Pastorius will be the joker in that match. Mm by ensuring that he risks the match excellently to give us a very good result. Like I will say, to round up this interview, let's take it one match at a time. Thank you very much.